kind of like rust appearing on your car. An individual rust spot isn't going to do anything. But if it keeps rusting, they will add up and eventually the car will fall apart. And that's what's happening with mutations. Most of them are pretty small, too small for natural selection to catch. So they accumulate and it's, if evolution were true, we probably shouldn't even be alive today. Wow. So the whole idea of mutations uh, producing something new in natural selection, causing it to evolve, the exact opposite of what they're saying is true. Sure, mutations are typically taking us downhill and anytime we see a supposed benefit, sometimes it might be a benefit to that organism, but it's at the result typically of loss of information when right. uh, bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. That's because of a loss of information, not yeah, a gain. It's not like they gained something to defend those antibiotics, they actually lost information. Sure, there's a number of ways that it can happen. One is it can actually transfer, one organism can be resistant already and it can transfer that to another organism. Again, there's no new information there, it's just a transfer. Another one can be through a loss of information. A bacteria can lose an enzyme that would help break down the antibiotic into a poison. If it loses that, it can't convert it into a poison, wow. so it, it lives, but it lost information in order to do in that. In order to accomplish what sure. it, wow.